I had to kill some time in Dollar Tree. And look, they got the Halloween stuff starting to appear. I like it. Go back. They get in there. These are car, wait, uh -uh. Oh, they're foam, so you can actually carve these. But does the inside just look like white styrofoam? But I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of love that they have all this like luau stuff too. <laughs> I think it's just held over from summer. Is this wood? This is very thin wood. It's particle board. Let me slip up. I kind of just want to hang this on my wall, to be honest with you. <laughs> Look at these fun little Barbie shirts. Buzz Light here. I think that's a dress, maybe, or a shirt. I don't know. I didn't know Dollar Tree was so hip. You can get OG Stormtroopers or the new ones. Coffee mugs. Dang, they even got a cap. Although, <laughs> cap looks like he needs to lay off the coffee a little bit. I can do this all day. I realize to some people it's embarrassing that I'm 44 years old and I'm playing around in a Dollar Tree with Star Wars mugs and Captain America mugs, but you know what? I do not care. Hmm. Um, greatest beer koozie ever? Exercise? I thought you said extra fries. My daughter and I picked up these prints yesterday at Wizard World and I wanted to get frames for them. That's why I was at Dollar Tree, since I had time to spare. But, what would happen when you buy a frame for a dollar? My Dobby! Yeah, that's right, there's your Dobby. Dobby's not free, now he's in a frame. But he's still kind of free. And I got a cold. And you got a cold. First week back to school. Wah, wah, wah. This was such a random impulse buy at Dollar Tree. They had these by the register, like down below. <laughs> Authentic casino played cards, and they had them from a bunch of the old uh, downtown casinos. So I picked up, I don't know, something that I have on a pack of cards from Binion's. I was like, I gotta have these. I don't know why, I'm just, you know, I'm not a gambler, but uh, so much. I mean, a little bit, but I just love old Vegas. I love old casinos. I love, the, you know, downtown Fremont Street, so. For a buck, I had to grab these. Look how they cut. Oh. Look how they cut the edges. They cut the corners off the cards. So you could never try to sneak this deck back in and, you know, if you marked the cards somehow, try to slip it on the table or something. I mean, the odds of even getting away with that are pretty slim. But just to make it a little more difficult for cheats, when they get rid of a deck of cards, that they cut the edges off. Some casinos drill a hole right through the middle. I've seen that where casino, old casino cards have holes in the middle, like right through the deck. They do that with poker chips too when they get rid of the chips and then they sell them or give them away or whatever. Or I don't know what they do with them, but you'll see, if you ever see a poker chip from a casino with a hole in the middle, that means it was authentic. It's Tuesday, I got my favorite shrimp dish for lunch today. I'm so excited that I'm gonna sing about it. When I took it out to stir it after two minutes, it smelled so much like coconut. I felt like I was on vacation. It's not a very good song, but I'm excited nonetheless. So it appears that Kellogg's is trying to get into the monster cereal game and I am, as the kids say, here for it, because it's awesome. I love it. Look at Tony the Tiger as a vampire. Applejack's things, <laughs> I guess that's a cinnamon stick and an apple, which they're creepy enough, but then as a mummy and Frankenstein, I'm all over it. I like it. Just went to the door and I have a delivery from Amazon Prime. So I ordered a little external mic, a lavalier mic, for 
I mean, not specifically for when we head down to Florida, but you know, in a little over a week, going to be heading down to the Orlando area. Going to be doing a little food and whining, and then of course the opening night of Horror Nights. And in all my Horror Nights vlogs, well, many of my vlogs period, but especially at Horror Nights, and even at Disney, sound is an issue. You can't really hear me because I use an iPhone. I don't have a fancy camera. I go back and forth. Some days I think, yeah, I'd love to buy a nice camera. But some days I'm like, iPhones are pretty decent. The only thing they suck at is at concerts, as you've seen, and in low light, like walking through haunted houses, but whatever. So I thought this would be kind of good to have, especially at Horror Nights, so you can at least hear me a little better. Uh, so we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. So, I don't know, let's see. Can you, does this sound any better? We're gonna find out. Um, I don't know if it's gonna help that it's under my beard and my big chin. Testing, let's see, check baby, check baby, one, two, three. Um, la 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 la, she sells seashells by the seashore. Honestly, I'm not sure about the sound quality. I mean, I can, I can definitely tell a difference but it also sounds like a tape recorder, so I don't know. Do I like it, or am I sending it back? That's the question. Or maybe the ruffling I heard, was it, is it touching my shirt, maybe? Uh, I think, like when I'm at Horror Nights, I give you a lanyard so I can just clip it onto the lanyard, but I don't know. I don't know if I love this. What's up, guys? It is Wednesday. I have not recorded anything all day. And it's 616. Um, just haven't. That's doing stuff, working, uh, driving around. But I want to show you something. <laughs> I want I want I'm gonna drop the phone. I want to show you guys something. I made a stop at Aldi this afternoon, this evening, whenever, on the way home to get something for the kids for dinner. And I picked up this. Can you see this? Oh boy. Ah oh boy. There you go. Hawaiian style chicken. Um, grilled boneless, skinless chicken, thigh meat, and teriyaki sauce with pineapple. And it was delicious. I would show you, except it's all in my belly. I devoured it. I was gonna make it for my wife and I, but she's not home from work yet. And there were only two not very big chicken breasts, and that's the one downside. There was not a lot to it. It was six bucks for two um, small, like that, chicken breasts which is probably, you know, like more than, but and for one serving, it was only 180 calories. Um, so what is, so for two, what is that? Six, uh, th six, Whew, I'm good at math, 360 calories. It was delicious. I mean, again, yes, it tasted, you know, like processed or whatever, like not super fresh, but it was just chicken breast. I mean, it was good and it wasn't frozen. It was in the refrigerated section, but not frozen. So I don't know what the shelf life is, but what scares me is it says used by October 11th, which is well over a month away. And I'm like, this isn't even frozen. I'm assuming you'd have to freeze it after a certain amount of time, right? Um, but if you've got an Aldi nearby and they have this, an American Aldi, sorry, uh, Brits, like Gary. I know Bar Gary and Becca uh, go to Aldi. We talk about Aldi a lot. It's, we're, we're two grown men who message each other about things we found at Aldi. But uh, this was really good. It was excellent. So, and pretty good for, I mean, you know, pretty healthy. So. Getting ready for the new show on Friday. Okay, I had to make a quick target run. Can somebody tell me what the heck this is? It's a Lego Jurassic World set, but look, it's a T-Rex versus a dino mech battle. That was not in the movie. Look at, who are these guys? Who's Danny Niedermeyer and Vic Hoskins? Oh, Vic's the bad guy from the original one. Oh, look at the baby raptors. That is amazing. Look at this one. So here's... It's like they're making up their own stories for Lego. Like here's Owen's trailer. But what the heck else is happening here? Baryonyx treasure hunt? Or face off the treasure hunt? What treasure hunt? 
Here's Danny Niedermeyer and Sinjin Prescott. Was he the guy from The Lost World? No, he couldn't be. He died. And look at this one. Triceratops Rampage even has a ride. You can build. And look, it's got Simon Masrani who died. Look at this. They're going for a little ride. <laughs> and having ice cream. Okay, these are amazing. These are the new Lego Hidden Side sets. And they're all like these spooky kind of Lego sets. It feels like a school bus with like ghosts and stuff and some kind of car. There's one with like a zombie ghoul fisherman with like a hatchet and knife. There's a big one too. Oh, and look, they have it here. They have it set up. See, there's that house. There's that school bus. But like you, t like here they have it set up so you can turn it around. And like it has like, it's like a monster house. But there's an app then that you download when you build these and like it makes things appear like this is a fake like thing. They give you an idea of what like ghosts and stuff will come out of the house. Oop, disappeared already. Oop, I guess I did it too soon after. There he is. I want all of these. Problem is, this mansion, 130 bucks. Uh, where'd the school bus go? So, so the school bus is 60. Little diner, 50. And this Jeep thing is 40. Does it come with that little chopper? The ghost. Oh, oh it does. Like a little ghost chopper. So these guys are like ghost hunters or there or something. But the problem with this target, look at this. This one's not too bad, but the boxes are like smashed in. Like, look, can you see? Come on, guys. Take care of your inventory. This stuff ain't cheap. I just realized I haven't filmed anything all day or recorded anything all day, so... Here's dinner. We're making burgers for everybody, some pub burgers. These are um, brisket and prime rib, and then a couple of giant hot dogs. These are from the meat market, so it's delicious. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna eat, and then we're gonna watch the Dark Crystal. Also, I was able to find the beer that I had up in Michigan. Shorts Brewing Soft Parade. So good, it's the one that's like all the fruits. I told you it tastes like wine. I love it. So. Having a beer, I know, not good for the calories, but man, it's Friday night. It's been a week. I could use one. Making some burgers for the kids. What are you going to do? Don't beat yourself up. Treat yourself.